Let's start with the good news. All things considered, planet Earth is doing fine. In fact, humans are doing better than at any other time in history. Over the last hundred years, when temperatures have warmed by about two degrees Fahrenheit, global population has increased by six billion people, while global poverty has substantially declined. And the number of people killed from weather disasters has decreased by 97% on a per capita basis. We are obviously not facing an existential crisis. Anyone who tells you that we are is not paying attention to the historical data. Instead, they are concerned about what might happen in the future, based on predictions from inadequate climate models driven by unrealistic assumptions. I offer this positive diagnosis after a lifetime of study on the issue. Until recently, I was a professor of climate science and chair of the School of Earth and Atmospheric Sciences at the Georgia Institute of Technology. But it's not all good news. The biggest problem with climate change is not climate change per se, it's how we're dealing with it. We're attempting to control the uncontrollable at great cost by urgently eliminating fossil fuels. We failed to properly place the risks from climate change in context of other challenges the world is facing. Climate change has become a convenient scapegoat. As a result, we're neglecting the real causes of these problems. There are countless examples, but let me give you just one. Lake Chad in Africa is shrinking. Nigeria's president, Muhammadu Buhari, blames it on you-know-what. Climate change, he pronounced, is largely responsible for the drying up of Lake Chad. But it's not. Yes, the initial water level decline was caused by long droughts in the 1970s and 80s. But the lake has remained virtually empty over the past two decades, even while rainfall has recovered. During this time, rivers flowing into the lake from Cameroon, Chad, and Nigeria have been diverted by government agencies to irrigate inefficient rice farms. In short, climate change has little to do with the declining water level of Lake Chad. Instead, bad human decisions are the cause. Climate change is just a convenient excuse, hiding poor management and governance. Blaming every major weather disaster on man-made global warming defies common sense as well as a historical data record. For the past 50 years, the global climate has been fairly benign. In the U.S., the worst heat waves, droughts, and hurricane landfalls occurred in the 1930s, much worse than anything we've experienced so far in the 21st century. Population growth, where and how people live, and how governments manage resources are much more likely to create conditions for a disaster than the climate itself. We've always had hurricanes, droughts, and floods, and we always will. Maybe you think I'm being too cavalier about the dangers we face. Isn't it true that 97% of scientists agree that humans are causing dangerous climate change? Well, here's what all climate scientists actually agree on. The average global surface temperature has increased over the last 150 years. Humans are adding carbon dioxide to the atmosphere by burning fossil fuels, and carbon dioxide emissions have a warming effect on the planet. However, climate scientists disagree about the most consequential issues, how much warming is associated with our emissions, whether this warming is larger than natural climate variability, and how much the climate will change in the future. There's a lot that we still don't understand about how the climate works. Ocean circulation patterns and variations in clouds have a large impact, but climate models do a poor job of predicting these. Variations in the sun and volcanic eruptions also have a substantial impact, but these are simply unpredictable. The fact is, we can't predict the future climate. It's simply not possible, and everybody should acknowledge that and every scientist does. While humans do influence the climate, we can't control the climate. To think that we can is the height of hubris, the Greek word for overconfidence. 
what we can do is adapt to whatever Mother Nature throws our way. Human beings have a long history of being very good at that. We can build seawalls, we can better manage our water resources, and implement better disaster warning and management protocols. These are things we can control. If we focus on that, there's every reason to be optimistic about our future. I'm Judith Curry for Prager University. Thank you for watching this video. To keep PragerU videos free, please consider making a tax-deductible donation.